Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I just did King Charles planets. What are the planets? What are they trying to tell him right now? What are they directing right now? And uh, I'm going to do Harry's. I want to do Harry's. I want to see what's going on with Harry. I did his past, present, future. But I want to see if there's a particular planet that is vibrating more for him right now uh, than the others. Charles had quite a few. And so this is telling me Charles is going to have a big moment in his life. And um, I hope... I hope it's not too terrible. <laughs> Let's see with Harry. What's going on with Harry? Harry, Harry, Harry. Harry, Harry. I just did that really controversial reading that Harry was in South Africa to pick up a baby who, who could possibly be Lily. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but let's see how he's doing. Strength on his moon. He's feeling very emotionally strong. Like really strong. On his Mercury, his Ace of Wands, he's coming with some really creative ideas. That's shocking. <laughs> On his Venus, he is the hanged man. He does not know what to do with Megan at all. Also, he's seeing Megan in a completely different point of view. On the sun, his pride. Oh, his pride is his marriage or his home. On his Mars, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Is that his grandmother or is that Catherine? On his Jupiter, we have judgment. Oh, he's going to have a second chance with money and luck. And on the world, we have the Empress, his burden. In underline, we have seven of wands. All right. Now, Harry also has one, two, three, four major arcanas on his planet. So he's got four, five five planets that are very active right now the ones that aren't active are his well they're at they're always active but not as much is pride because we only have a four of wands on there so he could be his pride um could block be blocking him about his blinding him his marriage the pride over his marriage could be blinding him from making other decisions and then of course his intellect <laughs> His Mercury is intellect and communications. <laughs> it's only a one. <laughs> but he's got some great ideas. <laughs> oh, these cards, they never fail to make me laugh. All right. So under his emotions, his emotions, actually, this could be his wife. She's a Leo. The strength card is the Leo card. So his emotions could all be wrapped up in his wife right now. Or he could be very emotionally strong, very emotionally strong. So I already talked about his mercury, his communication, his intellect. Um, he's trying to come up with new ideas. And have we not heard that? He wants he wants to do this stuff alone. So, you know, he's coming up with a new branding. Under his Venus, which is partnerships and romance, we have the hanged man. So he's kind of stuck. He's really kind of stuck. He actually does have... Megan on his mind and he's coming up with, like with new ideas we also have the phallic symbol in between so maybe that's what he's missing from her not sure uh did I say that out loud uh but he's looking at his partnerships and his romantic interests from a different point of view now under pride it could be like um you know the pride that he married this person and he's not going to give it up. Like he's too proud to admit he made a mistake, basically. Under his Mars, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which this could be um, Catherine or it could be his grandmother. I'm getting that it's Catherine because I think here we have his mother or his grandmother, the Empress. I think under his Mars, which is aggressors or um, I think that it, his Mars has... His aggression has blown up any chances that he has with Catherine. Uh, any chances, like none. That that aggressive stance he took um, against the whales. And I think Catherine was his only friend for a very long time in the family. He's blown that up and that shall never be again. He will not, she's not going to give him a second chance whatsoever. 
And um, I think I, he, if that showed up, that he has deep, deep regrets about that. Really deep regrets about that. Interesting that, you know, Megan and Catherine showed up. And um, I'm wondering if that's why he's looking at this from a different point of view about how Megan turned him against Catherine. Now, under work and our work, that's not work, that's money and luck. He has judgment. He has a second chance here. And I think it's only if he goes back to England. We have the English flag here. Uh, this also could be the inheritance that he just got. Might be the might be the catalyst that gives him a second chance. Now he's got some money. We have to remember um, inheritances are not part of the marital money pool. So he can take that money and spend it on himself. He may be leaving that money in England so she can't get to it. I think I think that money has I think that's why we see him jetting all over the world and doing things. He's got his own money to do what he wants with. And I think that's his th that money that came is going to give him a second chance at something. And then under the world which is burdens, I think this is his mother, the empress. I think um also this is, you know, having creative ideas and being pregnant with possibilities and under his burdens, he has none. He has no other possibilities, but to go back to being a Royal. He, I think he's seen, um, you know, what it's like out there in the real working world and how hard it is to make money and, you know, that you have to show up and you have to be dressed and you have to do speeches and you have to do all these things. And, um, He's, I think he's realizing that he has no other, his best possibility at making a go for it is going back and being a working royal. And, but here's the problem. I think, I think Catherine would block any of that from ever happening. And I think part of that is, is the way they treated Catherine uh, online, all the rumors and whatnot. And he never stood up for Catherine and he could have stood up for Catherine without saying that it, that's his wife doing this, the simple sugars. And I think Catherine will never forgive him for that. I think, I think Catherine has more power than we realize in that family. And I'm, I think it's because number one, Charles calls her my beloved daughter-in-law. And number two, she's done nothing wrong whatsoever and not a step out of place. She acts royal. She does her duty. She shows up. She's raising three fabulous young, um, young human beings that eventually will one day be on the throne. And I think, I think the queen uh, loved her to bits as well. She's good to William. And I think, I think she carries a heavier stick than we realize. And I think if she says, uh, Harry's not coming back. Harry's not coming back. I think Harry doesn't realize. I I mean, Camilla's part of it as well. Camilla has said it's Harry or me, and, and Charles chose Camilla. But I think for Harry to come back at all within 100 miles of the royal family will be up to Catherine. I honestly believe that. I think Catherine will, went from being his best friend being his arch ne nemesis. And um, remember, those Capricorns are stubborn like goats. Good luck, Harry. Good luck. Man, you screwed up. Love to have Catherine on my side, wouldn't you? Anyways, there's Harry defending himself. <laughs> I'm taking the high road. I'm waiting for my apology. You know, I didn't write that book. My wife did. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please take good care of yourself. See you online. Bye for now.